Hi guys, Bruce here. Well, I've had this one come in before. Uh, I'll show you in a second. This is a Honda 2200 watt EB2200. I think I'll take that sticker off. You must have bought it from them. Instructions on here, gas shut off. Shut off gas to stop, that's a good idea. Then the car is empty. But this one, he says, won't stay running, won't even start. So the first thing we got to do is try it. Okay. Choke. Gas on. Now it was leaking from the carburetor a little bit, right? So we'll just give her a yank. Ooh, almost, eh? Try it without the air filter. Sometimes just the air filter provides that little extra clog, right? Good. There we go. There aren't very many hours on this machine. It wants to start. And if we get it to start a little bit, we will... Uh, See if we can get electricity out of it before we even start working on it. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to plug something electrical into this thing. For a little more. Okay, so it produces electricity. We don't know what the voltages are. But that's good enough for now. We can take the carburetor off and uh, start from there. Okay, I, I turned you around and we'll get a little bit of light. I think that's an 8 millimeter to get that carburetor off of there. And turn off the fuel. At least it's metal on metal, right? Oh, look at that. No, it's a 10 mil, right? Oh, that one comes off from the other side. 10 millimeter ratchet wrench. Let me wipe that gas up off the floor too. Whew. Oh yeah, the last bolt. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, on these Hondas, they haven't changed much over the years. We'll do a zoom, see if we can pick it up. Yeah, baby. You see that rod right there? We want to pull it up. We'll take this, this little tiny surge spring off first, like that, right, it's gone, and then we open the carburetor full throttle, and we take this uh, 
off like that and that should come off except for the fuel line. And I'm going to just get some fuel line pliers. 3 sixteenths I believe these are, not one, qu not, uh, one quarter. Good. And that should come out. Oh, that's the choke arm, so. Get back on there. I don't want to change that gasket unless I have to. Good. Alright, there's the cobble rat whore. Let's just go. Whoa! Wow. So our problems are in the carburetor. It's not sealing and it's flowing over. It's just soaked in fuel. I can feel it. Now I've got a, this was about three years ago since I worked on this one. I don't really remember it because I probably just did this did this carburetor and that was it. It's quite a bit of gas came out of there and a bit of junk too. Okay. So I'm going to just have a look at that. And then I'm going to wash my hands. Now we might have picked some crud up from, from the bowl, from the dish too, so. Yeah, pretty dirty. Pretty dirty. Oxymoron. Now we're going to drain a little bit of gas out of the, uh, right out of the engine itself. how it looks. We'll do a midstream sample here. That looks good. Good, okay. So back to here. Right here now. Are we empty? Yes sir, Bob. So this this tube is a Honda tube, quarter inch to three sixteenths or so, with the with the Honda carburetor upside down. That this is upside down. That seals the needle and seat. We should be able to hold seven pounds, maybe not ten. Are you with me? Oh, I'm on suction. See, it's well, it's falling back. So what I'm doing now is I'm just cycling air through the carburetor by releasing this and I'm just maybe hopefully blowing some stuff out of there. So five pounds isn't quite enough. I like it to be at seven. I'm going to get a Q-tip. We need a real small Q-tip for this. Right here, baby. Look at that wonderful little guy. Can you see what I'm doing here? This is a really small Q-tip. No dirt. Good. I'm going to pour just a little bit of fuel into that hole. Rinse it. And unfortunately for you guys, I have to uh, start the compressor. I'll be right back. Okay, I put some gloves on. That'll help my hands a little bit. I did see some sawdust in the bowl gas. 
whatever you want to call it, debris. Okay. I don't. He says it's only been used a couple of hours, but it is completely plugged over. So here we are. One, two, three, four. Oops. Five. Six, and that's it. I'm going to clean it out with the carb spray. So that's what I'm doing here. Just that. It should shoot through, right? Good. Now if I hold the end, we should see a star pattern when it shoots. Oh, I gotta do it from this side. Block this bottom hole, this big hole, and we should see like a six or seven stars squirting out of there. Yeah, exactly. Boy, I don't like taking these out, but I'm gonna. This is just an idle set and idle what do you call it? Orifice. <clears throat> if I didn't wreck anything there. Should be okay. Now, squirting on the end of this. Ooh, lordy. That doesn't look normal. This is an old Honda. Good. Yep. Gonna put that back together right now. <clears throat> and then we'll put this on here. Don't want to get any more crud in there, right? And this is just the other side of this screw holds the eye. This is the throttle. Vroom, 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 and it just holds the uh, throttle out. I leave three threads remaining about sticking out about, you see right there, about three, th three threads sticking out. Good. And is this plugged? Yes. Huh. Yep. Well, that's just crazy amazing. Ooh, is it ever plugged? Okay. One size up from that one. Probably will be too big. Right there. Yep. That's perfect. So now I should be able to shoot through there. Good. Alright, I think I can uh, just dip these in fuel. Blow them a little air on them. And then have a look. Okay, I'm going to look through there. Yes, that one's good. But now this is the one I wanted you guys to see. Okay. Right there. 
Okay, so that carburetor, except for the uh, passages, which I'll just give a couple of shots on now. I'm looking at if you can see into there with the throttle open. Good. You should have seen that. If not, that's okay. And good. Perfect. I think this carburetor's clean. Now, I'm going to just pour some fuel on it again. We might as well do it over the fuel jug, right? <laughs> Beautiful clean fuel. And we're going to put that carburetor back together again. One. Two. I always do, I learned this from Zippo Varga, I always do brass three times. You don't want it vibrating loose, eh? Huh. Lots of problems. Okay. We don't know if they're problems or not. Fuel on the end of that. Um, yeah, I can use a little bit of that. Put the float with the, the seat and the needle down. And we're going to do a pressure test. See if it holds more than five pounds now. Right here. This is the whole ball of wax. Right here, eh? Yes. It holds seven now, not five. That's a substantial improvement. Oh, it's slowly leaking back. Leaking back to six. I don't know if that's good enough. I'm just gonna go look through my Honda stuff and see if I got another needle. All right, so there's my one piece Honda style carburetors. And then here's my miscellaneous paraphernalia of Honda. And look what we got in here. We got two needles that look similar to the one we're working on. So let's just take a breath and try a different needle. Don't forget, this machine is older than most of you people. This is the dull gray, dull beige one now with the same float. Now, I never really thought about the float until now. Okay, let's just do a test. Where's my buddy carburetor buddy? Right here. Okay, now we're going to pump this back up again to see if we have more or less than 6 PSI of retention. <laughs> You guys with me? Ooh, I hope you're getting some of this. Okay, here we go. Well, you're going to just have to read it upside down. It's falling back to nine, eight. About six, eh? Which is the same as the old one. Huh. Okay. See, it's a spring loaded operation like that. I'm gonna use that same Q tip. 
little bit of valve grinding compound. Okay, valve grinding compound. Okay, what do we got here? Drill. Now normally I, I use this on the brass seats, but what the heck? Good enough. Spray this crap off that. I save everything. Okay, now we're gonna wash. We don't wanna get valve grinding compound in that machine, right? Or here. Now, which one was my needle? This is my needle here, over here. I'm gonna go. Good. Pour some gas in there. Well, I should might as well pour some clean gas in there now that we're just about done experimenting, right? Okay. Now, are we going to grind this too? Yes. Where was our little piece of sandpaper? Right here. We're going to do this. Not, not a lot. Ooh. Not a lot. Okay, we'll put the spring on there. Just get that a little bit of fuel. Put it on our float. Now, should I try the other float? Are they the same? Three, doesn't say. I'm not going to use it. It doesn't have the same numbers on it. Keeping things sterile in a different way, right? Sk squirt a little air on that. You guys have been through the whole thing with me on this one. Good. Now we're going to test it one more time and I bet you it still holds at six. <laughs> I'm plugging in the unit right now. And we're getting better at holding this so that you can see it. Okay. Look at that, folks. It's holding at nine. That's going to be much better. We got her. Oh, get this out of there. I'm thrilled. We're just going to put it over here back onto the machine. Okay, we'll try that. All right, we got the carburetor back on. The uh, gas is turned on. The engine's turned on. The breakers are turned on. Let's get our drill. Electric drill, AC 110 volt. And uh, an, an electric meter, just with confidence, right? We gotta have confidence. Okay, you ready? Choke! That feels nice.
Okay, you guys can look over my shoulder. Put your head on my shoulder. I'm just going to look and see what kind of a RPM setting. There it is right there. I'm going to turn up the RPMs just a little bit. There's the Phillips there. JIS Phillips too, by the way. Yeah, let's start her up. Volts there. I think that is the. Uh, I think that's the old version of the uh, low RPM idle when there's no load. We'll choke it. Turn it on. Now we're going to turn on. We're going to turn off the auto low idle. Now let's just, I'd like to see that voltage up a little higher. It's not doing it, but there's 13 amps. Idle. And it drops to 71 volts as well. I'm okay with that. This is an old, old machine. Hey, you guys might as well watch. Okay, I'm just going to clean it up and we'll come back and do a test. Alright, and then at rest, runs at uh, 1500. To 1600, 1550 to 1600 RPMs, right there. That's on idle with the uh, gas saving feature, right? And you squeeze the trigger on the saw and it jumps up to 100 and, or 3700 3, RPM. 3800 RPM. Give it a go. I like these old Hondas. I spend extra time on them. So it's really kind of cool that it does have that uh, idle feature. What do they call it? Auto throttle, auto throttle. And it's written in French because this machine was made in Canada. All right, here's something super cool, wonderful about my metal mesh table and my lift. How's that for a 65 year old back, eh? And then this just folds up like a TV table, right? But I won't do it right now because I need it for this week. I like the film on that, that's kind of good. <laughs> 